Let us take an example of the data store of the Google search engine. A search engine displays the ordered results relevant to user's search query. Are these search results queried from the website in real time or from the database of Google? Google keeps downloading websites and parsing and storing the data found on the websites. This process of downloading website is called crawling and the tool is generally referred as crawler. On what basis are these results ordered? Relevance, how important a page is, the user's behavior, all of the above. The answer is all of the above. To figure out how important a page is, Google assigns a page rank based on how many other websites are linking to a page. So, more number of websites are linking to your page improves your page rank. And further, if more important websites are linking to your page with a better page rank, your page rank will even be better. The search engines need to find and maintain who is linking to who and with what name. Say, we have a website of www.cnn.com which has some HTML content and is being referred by si.com as CNN and by Microsoft.com as CNN News. SI.com has some content which is being referred by Microsoft.com as Sports Illustrated. This can be represented in a graph. This is stored in its base in a table. This table has two column families, contents and anchor. As the crawler crawls CNN.com's website, it would first create a row with the row key as URL and add a value in say HTML column in contents column family. After a while, say the crawler crawls the website of SI.com and creates a record for the same. It also notices that the contents contain link to CNN.com. So, it adds a column SI.com to the anchor column family and adds the value for the row CNN.com as CNN. After a while, the crawler stumbles upon Microsoft.com, which is also having an href to CNN.com, and adds a row for Microsoft, and adds a column to CNN.com row key, and a column to SI.com. This process would go on. Notice that as more and more websites are being crawled, rows as well as the columns are increasing. Also notice that we are utilizing column header to store the data. We often need the data for all subdomains under a domain to be stored together. Since the data in an HBase table is ordered by row key, keeping reversed URL as the row key brings the records of, of a domain together. Let me show you. If the URL was the key, the data in HBase would be in alphabetic order as hdinsights.microsoft.com followed by learn.cloudxlab and so on. You can clearly see that all of the rows for Microsoft are not together. But if we reverse the URLs, the records for the same domain would be together after sorting. So keeping the reversed URL as the row key brings the data for each domain together. Each cell could keep past few versions of values as shown in another example. The previous content of the website www.cnn.com is kept in T3 and T5 versions. 